Hello, Worm Guru here. I am broadcasting from my bathroom, as you can see, because the light is better in here. And what I have on my forehead is a little heart, and what I have on my chin is a little heart, because I am representing love tonight. But one thing that I do not love are bugs that get in your head. And I had this spiraling sensation in my head numerous times. Now, I think I know y'all are going to think that I'm crazy. But this spiraling sensation the first time woke me up. It felt like it was right back here trying something in my head, trying to spiral its way out of that bone, that bone right there behind my ear. And it woke me up from a dead sleep, and I realized I had a screwworm in my head trying to come out. And it freaked me out, and I was beating my head with the pillow and running around the room, and it was horrible. I'm not kidding, y'all. But I survived that. Then another time I woke up, and it felt like the worm was trying to screw its way out of my forehead right here. And then I had a zigzag sensation on the top of my head. Now, somebody told me that was kundalini energy, but I never heard of zigzagging kundalini before. I thought that spiraled. Now, you tell me. But I don't know what's going on. I know it feels like I've got a bug in my head, and sometimes it feels like I've got an earwig, a little screw worm in my ear going around and around and around and around. And that's no fun either. So... What the heck? I was in Colorado and went in Rome, do like the Romans, and I took a little bit of that recreational marijuana while I was there in the state. It was perfectly legal. And that screw worm screwing around in my ear, it might have been the same one that was here and here and here, I don't know if it's the same one migrating or if I've got a whole bunch of them living in my head. All I know is it woke up, it went nuts, and it spiraled its way out to this part of my ear instead of down in there. And I thought, well, this is progress. At least it's coming to the outside of my body. So I was glad about that. And, and while I was there, I just did as much as I could. And that worm has not been bothering me much lately. So I'm telling y'all, we need to get this stuff legalized, or I'm going to have to move to Colorado. Thank you very much, Worm Guru, over and out.